from the KATC Weather Lab. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, after flirting with some showers and thunderstorms across portions of Acadiana, things are quieting down. The sun back out. The clouds are going to thin and rain chances going down. Maybe not done for the day. You might see one or two more showers uh, after that, though. Dry couple of days ahead as we round out the week, but we do have a front on the way this weekend. That may generate a few showers and some storms come Saturday. So let's take a look at the big picture across the lower 48. We have this little disturbance that's pushing on through that we were expecting to generate showers and storms, which it did. It's south uh, of, uh, we'll say, uh, Louisiana, just near the Grand Isle area, enhancing storms uh, mainly east of Acadiana right now. Dry northwesterly flow beginning to develop, so we do think rain chances will be going down. You see the scattered storms over the southeast Gulf of Mexico. And boy, what is this already? Monsoonal moisture in the west. The, the snow hasn't melted out here quite yet. And more moisture in the western states. They'll take it, though. As we look at the picture, the regional picture across Louisiana and the surrounding states, you can see shower and thunderstorm activity pushing off to the east. And as we dial into the regional Doppler radars, not a whole lot going on back to the west of us. And as you go to the east, still some active showers and storms. Here's a six-hour loop showing us showers and storms that were impacting the coastal parish earlier this afternoon. They have pushed off to the east. They moved through uh, eastern Louisiana. Now the heaviest activity over toward uh, portions of Mississippi and Alabama and the Florida panhandle. So that's where that activity is manifesting right now. Powered Doppler 3 indicating relatively quiet conditions. We are spying on a teeny tiny little shower here uh, between I-10 and uh, down toward the Esterwood area rolling right along the river area here and uh, just a few other uh, sprinkles. But that's about it for the rest of the afternoon. Can't rule out an isolated shower or thunder shower up through about 7 or 8 o'clock or so. Otherwise, it will be cooling down. The clouds clearing out. Maybe some patchy fog by morning. Upper 60s for tomorrow morning and then into the upper 80s tomorrow afternoon. We move it back into tomorrow night. Quiet pattern temperatures, upper 60s to lower 70s. And then as we head into Friday afternoon, it looks to be a tad bit warmer. West northwesterly flow over the next couple of days. That easily allows us to get to 90 degrees, at least with relatively comfortable humidity. As for the fog situation, latest graph model indicating uh, maybe some patches of fog, uh, but not as robust on the fog situation as it was on an earlier model run. So we'll take that out. But we'll look at the graph model coming up tonight at six to show you those showers and storms we think uh, they're going to get here for Saturday. So mid to upper 60s overnight tonight. Pretty comfortable night. Upper 80s to near 90 for your high tomorrow, but with a northwest wind, uh, lower dew point, so it should feel a little bit more comfortable near 70. The low tomorrow night into Friday morning and then Friday afternoon pushing into the lower 90s. So summer knocking on the door, although not too bad for the mid to latter part of May. So 68 the overnight low tonight to maybe some patchy fog possible in spots by daybreak. Overall, it's just crickets and frogs out there this time of year. Then for tomorrow, we'll see temperatures pushing up to 90 a late spring day, mostly sunny skies for the most part or a cloud and sun mix, but over Overall, a nice day. Comfortable humidity as well. 90 won't feel so bad unless you're in the sun. And boy, that sun will bake you this time of year, no matter what your skin type. 90 again Saturday. Scattered showers and a few thunderstorms with a weak front Saturday. Cools us off just a bit. Lingering clouds on Sunday. And a warm, dry pattern, at least through early next week. And then we'll reintroduce the chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms come the middle part of next week. If it all works out well, though, Friday into the Memorial Week weekend should be a pretty good looking weekend. I don't think we're going to see significant rain chances at this point, but days 10, 11 and 12 certainly could change. But in the near term, I smell a pool party then. I heard, I heard <laughs> oh, Memorial Day. I smell a hint coming from <laughs> a, a, a big one, one. okay? Well, smells those, like those, barbecue, yeah. Yeah. maybe a margarita or two. <laughs> the Perillo pool party. The, direct, the director says that sounds fun, all right? Yeah, it's, so we have, it's the invite control. list is, is already on. It's growing. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. Thank you, Rob. And still to come.